Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I got a crazy video for you guys and this is kind of a ridiculous one and an annoying one as well because I was really looking forward to Watch Dogs Legion which comes out in 11 days and I really hope that this does not impact it. But allegedly a hacking group um, by the name of Egg Gregor has um, hacked into Ubisoft's network and they have posted some pictures. Um, and I'm saying allegedly because we don't know how far in this is. They claim that they have access to Watch Dogs Legion source code and unless their demands are met, they are going to release this public. So let's read through this article and I'll read this. I'll, I'll also link this article down below for you guys. So ransomware group going by the name Egregor has hacked Ubisoft's network and have posted users' data to their website. If you have details saved via Uplay or other Ubisoft channels, now will be a good time to panic ever so slightly and ensure that your information remains as safe as possible. Interestingly, if you're one for dark humor, the upcoming video game that focuses on hacking and exploiting insecure data, Watch Dogs Legion, has been reportedly obtained by the group as well, and they're threatening to leak the source code for the upcoming title. So if we think about it this way, Watch Dogs is a game about hacking. So a hacking game about hacking has been hacked. You know, some people might find this funny, but a lot of devs have put a lot of hard work into this game. And for hackers to get access to things like the source code and then leak that, that could be devastating to the game. While it likely doesn't bear stating, leaking the source code would allow anyone that can obtain the files to compile the software and run it, making the piracy scene score an early copy of the title well before it's ready for release. Now, I don't know much about this type of stuff. I tried to look up what source code is, and it's the things that hold the game together. And if somebody had leaked the source code, this would be easier for like modders and hackers to ruin games like Watch Dogs Legion. It is currently unknown how Egregor managed to breach the security network, but it's a red letter day for anyone working in cybersecurity for the organization. The group has thus far leaked 20 megabytes of data from Ubisoft and 300 megabytes of Crytek, threatening to continue to release data unless their demands are met. And apparently these people are using um, ransomware, which I'm not an expert, but ransomware is like a program that apparently holds your computer hostage, and if you want to access it or access certain files, then you have to pay them something, either in money or in gift cards. A lot of times how these scammers run these things. It is possible that the group is bluffing and they only have a small subset of data. Whether or not Ubisoft and Crytek wants to take that wager at the moment is up in the air. Now, this right here, this, this is pretty important. Now, if the group is bluffing. Now, this is exactly what I was referring to earlier. We don't know whether this is actually true, whether they've actually hacked Watch Dogs Legion source code. The whole thing could just be a bluff, and they might have just hacked something smaller, posted a few screenshots to get Ubisoft scared, and hoping that Ubisoft falls for it and gives them some kind of big payday. ZDNet reported that Egregor only stole data from Ubisoft while Crytek files have been encrypted fully. This bears a glance at as it's difficult to discern why the group that has access wouldn't encrypt the files to encourage a full payout soon rather than piece, piecemealing the title towards the public. Today, October 16, 2020, if Ubisoft is not a, 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 a acquisi, I'm sorry, acquis to the demands of the group, then a Gregor will begin leaking the source code for Watch Dogs Legion until either the entire title has been offered online or Ubisoft succumbs to the demands. So it's already October 18th. We've been two days later and um, we haven't heard anything from Ubisoft um, and the source code has not been leaked for Watch Dogs Legion. So either one of two things happened. Either these guys are bluffing or Ubisoft has paid them off. Um, but I doubt that Ubisoft would pay them off because a massive company like Ubisoft, they probably have private investigators and they have all these um, they have all these tools at their disposal to figure out exactly what the hackers could have gotten access to. And probably Ubisoft has a good idea of what the hackers could have accessed and Ubisoft might know that it's a bluff. This all is a brief and rare glimpse into cybersecurity headache that has been further expanded during the pandemic as users work from home and share data across unsecured networks due to na naivety rather than corporate um, dis disillusionment. Techs have their work cut out for them in the modern era. Precisely what stems from this is currently up in the air. Although oh, not for too long, if Egregor uh, begins dropping files, then we could see the release of Watch Dogs Legion a bit sooner than intended. It's currently scheduled for a release date on October 29, 2020. Although it's coming to the Epic Games Store as yet another purchase exclusive to encourage users to try their store. 
So I guess we'll see what happens with Watch Dogs Legion. I find it really weird that out of all the games that could have possibly been hacked, that it was Watch Dogs Legion that got hacked, a game that's literally about hacking. And I'll tell you this, Watch Dogs um, multiplayer, this could be, if, if the hackers, let's say, that they do have access to the source code, this could completely break and ruin Watch Dogs multiplayer because if they can actually develop mods and cheats for these games, this could ruin the hacking invasions. Now, I've been playing a lot of Watch Dogs 1 multiplayer lately and hacking invasions in that game, basically how they work, you guys see me playing this entire time, you basically, what you do is you join somebody's session. They're playing in single player. You don't, they don't know that you're in their session. They can probably figure out that you're in their session early if they see a, a random NPC running around, but on their screen, they see you as a random NPC. They don't see you as Aiden, and you see them as a random NPC also. And basically, the objective in the game is you gotta get close to them, and you gotta start trying to hack their phone. Then you gotta get away from them and try to activate the hack in a certain area. And what they have to do then, that player sees that you're hacking into their game, they come on over, and they try to stop you. Now, this is all multiplayer, this isn't real hacking. Just so, just so we clear that up. So they come on over to that area and they try to find you in this like little blip area. And the goal is to try to get the download to 100%. And if they detect you, they profile you, they figure out who you are, then you have to run away from them. You cannot um, fight back against them. If you get up to 100%, you win. So you gotta try to avoid them in that area. And playing this multiplayer, a lot of people cheat in this multiplayer. And I'm playing on the PS4. A lot of people, what they tend to do is they wait in their games until somebody joins them. And all they do is they just basically sit on rooftops of mines, which is really cheap. Or they will actually go even a step further and they'll glitch into buildings. They will literally be glitched into buildings and they can see everything through walls. So they can see you through walls and they can actually snipe you through walls. And I've actually been killed several times by this where people actually sit inside, um, they sit inside walls. Fortunately, this didn't happen at all in this game that I was playing, but this has happened in the multiplayer. This is just with glitches alone. So this hacking invasion is a very big part of Watch Dogs multiplayer and it's coming back in Watch Dogs Legion. And if these hackers, like they say they have, if they actually do have the source code and they leak that and then people actually make mods and cheats from this this could completely ruin the multiplayer the multiplayer could be completely unbreakable because imagine all the stupid cheats that people would use in this mode they might have cheats where they might know where the player is right away they might have cheats where they can shoot people through walls hide in buildings it would just completely ruin the multiplayer and i'm kind of pissed off at the same time too because i really hope this isn't true because i was looking forward to Watch Dogs legion and i really really hope that these um people don't ruin it but let me know what you guys think down below i just still think this is a weird weird story in general that a game about hacking has been hacked themselves but let me know what you guys think down below do you guys think these guys are bluffing how do you think that ubisoft is going to handle this let me know down below and if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like if you're new to my channel join my content subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one take care everyone